person. True leadership is defined by how you respond, not in the 98% of the time when things are going well, but during the 2% of the time when things get really tough. To the woman who has given me confidence and helped me realize more of my own true potential, I'm so proud to present the Athena Leadership Award to you, Heather Shimmers. Help me and welcome you to the Well, thank you all so much. I'm humbled and completely honored to accept this award. It's been said that it's better to write your epitaph on people's heart rather than on your headstone. I'm not my favorite person to discuss, but I'm going to do my best to just share a few of those messages that have been etched on my own heart so far. My dad has a lovely marker at his resting place in Mineral Point, and boy, he sure did write his epitaph on my heart. Work hard, find passion in what you do and where you choose to share your time, care about people, and love your family. I want to thank the Fox City's Chamber of Commerce for this honor. I'm so proud to serve on your board of directors, and I'm so pleased with the direction that we're headed together. Winston Churchill said that a healthy community is the greatest asset a country can have. Thank you, Fox Cities, for embracing me and my family. We have thrived here. Kindness is abundant in the valley, and it's a gift that's free to give. So just do this for me, go out and do some random acts in our community. Just imagine what might happen. I'm so blessed to work for the company I work for, Ascension. We will always commit ourselves to serving all persons with special attention to those who are poor and vulnerable and provide care that is centered on sustaining and improving the health of individuals in our community. Say what you want about everything that's broken in healthcare. I will stand up here proudly to say that I am so thankful to work for Ascension and I am so grateful for every opportunity this organization has given me. By doing well for your associates, the associates then can do well for patients and the communities in which they serve. Thank you, Ascension, for allowing me to share the philosophy that I carry in my heart and my community throughout the state and at the national level. So many of you have written so many words of leadership and kindness on my heart, which has made me the person I am today. Bernie, Monica, Cheryl, Bill, Ann, Glenn, Travis, Ann, Cha Sharon, Chad, Ann, Jeff, the Kathys, Larry, Tom. I could go on and on and on. My goal is not to hide those words there, but to pass them on to the next generation of women and men who will come after me. And a quick shout out to that next generation in the Fox Cities. These young people are incredible. I am cheering you on all the way, my beauties. You know who you are. Stand up, make sure your voice is heard. You have something important to say, and I believe in you. I'd be remiss if I didn't take a moment to share the complete love and admiration I have with my team of nursing professionals, past and present, that have made me look good, when in reality, you all are the ones that are doing the really hard work. I admire you, I respect you, and I vow to work tirelessly to care for you. Thank you for everything you do, and know what you do really, really matters. And to those brave women who have gone before me to break glass ceilings, or in my profession, I guess I'd say glass syringes, I salute you. I mean, really, have you seen the list of past of, you know, award winners? Such gifts they have given and they continue to share. Bravery is not a word that's used lightly, but I use it for the women who have stood before me. Those women who have the brains and compassion to educate children, earn the right to vote, the sisters who came here to build our hospitals and break those stereotypes. And finally, I need to thank my family. I found my husband here in Appleton. Dave, you're the center of our family. You keep us together. Your guidance is written on all of our hearts. Whew. Be respectful, be on time, eat your vegetables. Did you wash your hands? Turn the lights off. <laughs> but the best lessons are those that you never say out loud, but you show in your unwavering level of support to all of us. It's noticed and we're so lucky. My boys, Parker, Cal, and Sam, go move mountains, my darlings. You are the kindest, most gracious young men. Never change and always listen to your heart. Thank you for always cheering me on and you make me the proudest mom ever. And to our beautiful daughter, Ivy Rose. You, my sweet, are doing it. There is absolutely nothing you can't do from earning the highest grade on your econ and health test, learning some really tough lessons about life, and taking really big steps when we all were scared to death, including navigating the Milwaukee transit system. If I have taught you and shown you anything, my beautiful girl, dream big, work your tail off, and all things are possible with hard work, faith, and a plan. Thank you again, Fox City's Chamber of Commerce, for this very treasured and meaningful honor.